Hi, welcome back. In today's lecture video, we will learn to type and save documents in a better way, where our ultimate focus will be on Microsoft Word tools. Microsoft Word or Word allows us to create professional type of documents simply and swiftly. And yes, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe Toolkits and press the bell icon to get notification of all my videos. If MS Word is installed on your computer and if you can't see it on your desktop, then go to the search bar near the start menu and type Word. The app will appear. You can open it from here or from here. Here's our tip. If you want this sign to be visible to your desktop, select open file location, then right click its logo and send it to your desktop. And if you want it to be appear on your taskbar, simply click on pin to taskbar. It will be appeared on very next moment there. When you click it, something like this will appear on your screen where you can see all your recent files. You need to click on blank document and you can see the overview of MS Word. This portion is called quick access toolbar where we can customize some of the key commands. If you want to keep some extra commands, click on customize option and select more commands. As I would like to select save as option, then add it and click on OK. You can select other commands according to your taste. This portion is called title bar where the name by which we save our document will be mentioned here by default as document one. While these are window control buttons and this particular area is called tab. By default, the active tab is home. Each tab has different features called ribbon. With the tools in these ribbons, we can better present our documents. And it is a document area where we can type anything. And on the bottom right side, we have zoom slider that makes our documents larger or smaller in view. Whereas the view buttons help us to view our document in different forms. While on the bottom left side, it shares with us the information about how many pages we have used so far and currently on which page we are. And at the same time, it also informs us that how many words we have typed. Now I will type something in paragraph form and then apply all these tools that we have learned. To understand it easily, I have written this paragraph by using on-screen keyboard where I typed a heading, subheading and main text. I used one page in print layout form. First we will save it by clicking on file option, select save as and then click it. Type the unique file name and save it to your desired location. By doing this, the document name changed to our file name immediately. You can also save your file by clicking on the save as option in quick access toolbar. Select undo option to reverse any of your actions and click the redo option to restore it. In home tab, first we focus on font style. Normally Times New Roman is considered the standard font style. From here you can use any font style. As far as the font size is concerned, you can select the desired font size from here. Standard font size is 16 for heading, 14 for subheading and 12 for normal text. Select your text first and change it accordingly. Of 
one of the tips here you should use the standard font size and for better clarity use the zoom in or zoom out option select the change case option to apply a lower case and upper case to your text we have these options apply it when required By clicking on clear all formatting, whatever changes we made will go back to the default option. Main heading and subheading should be in bold form. First select the text and then click here. You can also apply bold form from here or by using shortcut key. And if you need to undo the bold form into simple text, do it again. At the same time, we have italic and underline option that even contain different styles with multiple colors. You can use them when required. With the strike through option, we can cross something and with the subscript option, we can type mathematical sequence or chemical compounds just like that. Text effect can present our text in different shades and text highlighter highlight our text just like that. And if you want to change the font color, you need to select this option. If you want to type your text in different points, select these options. To make your text look better, we also have to take care of its position. And this arrangement in computer language is called alignment or margin. Use justify option for normal text, align left for heading and align center for title or main heading. Whereas align right is used to type same thing in footnotes. We use increase or decrease indent to change the by default margin. To give space between lines and paragraphs, we use line spacing option. You can change it according to the instructions of your instructor. We use shading option to change the background color of a selected text. Border options are used to separate a specific paragraph. You simply need to select the text, click on required option and see its perfection. We use the sort option to change the position of headings, subheadings and normal text. Show or hide option helps us to find the changings in our text. As for space, we have dots and when we use new line or paragraph, these signs will appear on screen. But if you don't have MS Word, you can also use Google Docs and MS Word through mobile application with some limited features. The options we have learned are here.
at the end of the video i have a tip for you if you want to find something in your document you can find it from here it will be highlighted wherever it would be and if you want to replace something you need to click here just like that Hope you learned a lot and that's enough for today. Stay tuned.